copies, uploads that uh, those files, just like the files that we downloaded to the local drive folder or the Google Drive folder, it sends those files to your server, which is a different computer uh, that's part of your web hosting service, and then that's where your files will sit, and then that server is connected to the internet backbone so that when people put in your URL, it goes to that server, and then those files are served to the to the client, to the user. So we need to get our files out there on the internet so that people can see them and visit our website. And that's what this FTP server allows us to do. There are also third party FTP um, programs, software that you can use. One popular one is called uh, FileZilla. And what that does is the exact same thing this does. It takes your files, <clears throat> copies them to the server, and then your files are changed or live on a website. So let's learn how to do that in MobiRise because what this will allow you to do is to do all of your editing and making changes or adding pages or putting in new text or buttons or changing links right here in the software on your home computer or your work computer. And then through this FTP server function you're able to change and put those files change them on your local computer, put them onto the new server, they'll overwrite those files, and then the things, the changes that you just made here on your software will be actually live on the website because you've sent the new files um, to the server. So that's what we're going to do today. And what we need to do is we need to set up our FTP um, server function here. We need a server and here you can put in, uh, if you don't want it, if you have a .com or .org address and you just want people to go to the whatever .com, you would leave this blank and then we would just set up our FTP server. <clears throat> if you have another one, like I have a different web address and I'm showing you something, or maybe you wanted to do a, a demo website or you wanted to do a something dot something dot com. Uh, then you would put a, a folder in here and then it would take all of these files from your website and it would put them into a folder similar to this up here where we have the desktop, we have a folder called new web mobilize website and then the files are inside that. <clears throat> and I'll show you what that looks like uh, whenever we get it finished and put over. So what I'm going to do is say new mobilize website and then here when we edit, it's not editing this, it's editing all of our uh, uh, FTP functions. So these are things that you're going to need, information you're going to need to get from your hosting service. Usually you can get that through your account if you know what you're looking for, or if you can't, then you should just call them up, their customer service, and get this information from them. <clears throat> the server type is either a regular FTP or SFTP. SFTP is like a secure FTP, so you're transferring the files over a secure connection. This is necessary if you have an SSL certificate or you're doing some sort of um, transferring of money or sensitive information. Most FTP uh, users are going to use just the regular FTP. Uh, you need a host name. In many cases, this is going to be um, your URL, so something.com, but check with your hosting serv service to figure out what your host uh, name is. You're going to need a username for your FTP account, and you're going to need a uh, password. Typically, the username is, this is the part that changes, and then it's at whatever your domain is, and then you need your password. Port 21, if the people that you talk to a customer service say that you need to have it on a specific port you should change it otherwise probably just leave that uh, as it is so let's go ahead and close this because our information is right <clears throat> and we will go ahead and publish and you can see that it's it says it's exporting the website but it's really publishing so exporting is is uh, creating a project file that you can download into the software. Publishing is actually publishing the HTML, JavaScript, and CSS files that are actually going to make up the website 
that when users visit the page, then they're actually going to be able to see the page. If they tried to visit a project that you've exported, they wouldn't see anything unless they imported it into uh, a software installation of MopiRise. So there's a difference in that terminology. So the site was successfully published <coughs> to our place, um, to our server. And so let's go online. And mine is at this address, which is a little weird because just because it's not not my .com, it's listed under what we call a subfolder. So I'll put it under new, MobiRise website, and then the page that I want to connect to is called index.html. So here it is, reproduce. So this is what I was working on in here. You can see, I just put together, threw together some basic elements. And then here, it's actually, this is live on the internet. It's at my website, highwaywebconsulting.com. And then it's in a subfolder called new MobiRise website. And then this is the index.html, the same one that we created here, the page index.html. So this is actually live and working and I'm going to show you what it's like to, let's say I want to change this text <clears throat> and take away a button. Maybe change the image. So let's go back into our editor. We'll go back to the top. So let's change this text here. And let's change the font for this to something that'll be much more recognizable. Let's take one of these buttons off. And let's change the background image. So all I did was click on this image and it brought up the option here. So I click on this image. Let's go here and let's just choose a new one of these beautiful vistas. Okay, so we have clearly made some changes here. So we've shortened the title, we've changed the font here, we've taken one of these images, I mean one of these buttons away, and we've changed this image completely. Um, so I'm going to publish it again using the FTP server, and this is the server that I just set up. This is the same exact folder that I put it into. So what it should do is overwrite the files that I already put in there. So let's publish this, and then after it's published, we'll refresh, um, we'll refresh the page. <clears throat> I was telling you about FileZilla. FileZilla is actually, <clears throat> I have it and I use it quite frequently, but it's nice that MobiRise actually has a, an FTP client inside of um, inside of the the program itself. <clears throat> um, let's say oh actually let's uh, let's go to the exact same let's see if it'll open up for us. Okay. So this is the exact same place um, that we're connecting to. This is the server, and this is my local computer here. So um, I can browse the different places on my local computer. So I can just go up the tree to my desktop, and I can see all the things on my desktop. And then if I want to move these files to a server, I can just drag them and drop them over. It's that easy using uh, FileZilla. And I'm connected to the same server space because you can see here, um, new MopiRise website. So this is exactly where our project um, files are. You can see there's index. It's uh, copied over all of our JavaScript and CSS files. And so, and our project as well. So you can see this is what's happened on the back end. 
but MobiRise is handling all of that without you knowing it or seeing it. So this is successfully published again. So let's go ahead and look and we'll refresh our page. It's the same, same URL, so we just refresh. You could also hit F5 on your PC. But you can see our background has changed. Our title is different. We've changed the font here and we've only got one button. So all of the changes that we made in the software have actually been reflected here. And I didn't have to download the files, move the files over, uh, do anything special. I didn't have to delete the files off the server and republish them. All I had to do was from MobiRise, click publish. And once your FTP settings are set to the right place where you want your uh, content to be, then all you have to do is click publish after you've made the changes to your website and it will make them live online. So this is a really beautiful feature. <clears throat> I'm really glad that they put this in here because what this does is this makes MobiRise your web development and web design program as opposed to just being something that you can create a mock-up and you have to take the files and you have to do something with them later. You can actually go through, you can add new pages, you can take pages away you can add landing pages. You can put new sections uh, very easily into your website. You can be very quick and very responsive to customers, to sales, to many different types of situations where you need agility and you need quickness and you need it to be easy to be able to add and delete some things. And then all you do is publish and it's online. It's almost um, it's almost the same as, as some of the higher-end uh, WYSIWYG editors. And this is what makes me so excited about MobiRise and why I'm doing a whole series on it because I think for the right um, small organizations, it's a perfect platform for anybody in your organization to be able to learn what to do and how to do it and to be able to publish and make changes to your website. So uh, that is the FTP uh, function for MobiRise. We have more videos um, describing all of the different elements. We have more videos talking about the different ways for you to publish um, and also talking about some of the administrative functions over here in MobiRise. So be sure to check those out and uh, thanks for watching.